so. Because I'd rather, like, six foot is tough, but at least all ones that are like 0.5 cents or 5 cents. Right. That's where you put 500 bucks. Right. And if it goes, it goes. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So let's talk about old coins. Old coins are coins that are other than Bitcoin. So they're like emerging coins sometimes. And, for example, Binance that we mentioned before has a ton of these old coins on there. So they're not even like, people don't even know that. A lot of these coins that, that, that people couldn't, for example, people couldn't buy Ripple and other exchanges, but Binance had it and uh, we were able to buy it on there. Um, even though all the other exchanges were busy. And so, some of these old coins are only a couple cents each. Or if you go before it goes on the exchanges, it's called something called an ICO, an initial coin offering. And, for example, we were at a panel just like a couple, two days ago, where it was all like these super like six, seven figure earners in crypto space that were in the panel. And one of them bought an ICO at a couple cents and they turned that into $600,000. All they put in was $500 and it turned into 600,000. So the potential is huge, but the, but, but the risk is very high, where like a huge percentage of these ICOs and altcoins are like, a lot of these ICOs are Ponzi schemes and, or shells, and a lot of these altcoins are junk. So what happens is like speculation becomes a reality. So like it, there's a lot of rumors that it's gonna skyrocket. A lot of people start buying it like a, for like in a frenzy, and it, it'll push up the value of the coin, and then people will start dumping it. So you, there's a risk of that happening. So how do you tell whether an altcoin is good or not? It's kind of like people. A lot of people are just following rumors. So a lot, a lot of people are doing is like they hear the rumor, they buy first, and then they do the research because it's like speed matters. You want to buy it when it's like five cents, not when it's fifty cents. So you don't have to see all your friends get rich and you're left in the dust. But it's hard to tell. There's no guarantee which one's going to go up. So like, it's, I would say it's almost impossible to tell which one's going up. If it was possible to tell which one's going up, we'd all be billionaires already. So what are some of the experts looking at when they buy altcoins? They read the white paper. The white paper explains like what the coin is, how, what their source code is about, what their unique selling proposition is, how are they going to fulfill a need in the market, and include a lot of cool graphics in their white paper. And then you want to look at the development team. Who's in charge of it? What is their reputation? Who are the developers that are actually like the blockchain developers in their company or whatever technology they're using, Tangle or whatever. Um, and then you want to look at what their cause is. And if there's something called the lighthouse, where the company is already built on an existing business that's already profitable. So like let's say a company is already profitable, already has a user base that's buying credits from their company and they're going to convert those credits into an, a coin a cryptocurrency now. Now you can feel a little more, a bit more confident that that coin already has a user base that that company is going to incorporate. So now you can feel more confident about your purchase within the altcoin. And it's all speculation. When you join a mastermind group, Everyone's going to come in with three new coins that they're super positive about. And the problem is, is that what we're running into is that we're running out of liquid money. Because you put in 500 to 2,000, every time someone brings up a coin, there comes to a point where you can't buy any more altcoins. Or you got to start selling Bitcoin to buy altcoins. And so, just be careful.